House Bill 1041 might be about sports, but people on both sides of the aisle here at the State House say they're not playing around when it comes to who's allowed on their child's sports team. The debate surrounding this controversial sports bill is ongoing. Female athletes deserve fair competition and an even playing field. And this bill ensures just that. The legislation bans transgender girls from participating on girls' sports teams at school. But some people, like high school student Claire Curran, believe this bill is more than just about sports. This bill is another example of thinly veiled bigotry that is disguised by protecting women. Supporters of HB 1041 say it's about protecting the integrity of female sports. But it is unfair to expect girls to cede their hard won rights to make room for male students suffering from gender identity issues. But opponents say this isn't happening. It is also a great overstep to say that every transgender girl is going to have some magical athletic ability. They are just as capable of being bad as I am, and I'm not concerned or overwhelmed with the concern. Others believe this bill sends a harmful message to transgender youth. All kids deserve to be kids. Trans kids just want to play and know they're loved and that they belong. Others believe this is another example of lawmakers making an issue out of a non-issue. And every year, these bills are justified by the same doomsday predictions, telling folks that we are going to invade whether it is your bathrooms, your locker rooms, or your sports teams. There is no place in Indiana where trans girls have taken over sports teams.